Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to five year laser cut stainless steel. What you see here is a stencil and the reason why it's round is because it goes on a barrel. In this case here it's bourbon but we also do them for other liquors and other uh, alcoholic beverages. And what they do is they have a barrel and they put this on the barrel and they use spray paint or the customer uses a propane torch and they brand basically everything you see here onto the wood barrel. Most barrels are wood. So in this case here, uh, they need two sizes. So here's one, this is 10 inches diameter. And the other one here is 20 inches diameter. The difference between the two signs is really nothing other than scale. Uh, it was scaled exactly the same from the large one to the small one. And because of that, we used a fiber laser to cut it out. So you can see here, even on the very small details, everything's nice and sharp. Try to find uh, space here. So here you can see very small details. Again, everything comes out great. The nice thing about fire, uh, when it comes to this kind of stuff, is the fire has basically infinite resolution. So, you know, you're not, it's not like spray paint where you have a, a little speck of paint and you have to try to get the angle right. When it comes to fire, you just blast it and you're all set. The reason why we use stainless steel, in this case here is actually 316 stainless steel. Uh, for this specific project, ran out of 304 stainless steel, so the customer got a free upgrade to 316, which has more corrosive resistant properties than 304. It's also definitely a more premium uh, material. Now, when you can see here, is the stencil and the other one here, a larger one. So they're basically done at the same time uh, with the same sheet. So basically what you do is you put it on a sheet and you cut the big one and the little one or whatever order uh, the machine decides to go ahead and do. So let's take a look at the small one being cut. Now you might notice that we use a diversity of machines to cut our stencils in the shop here. Uh, we use the water jet, we use the laser, this is a fiber laser. Uh, we can use the router, we can use the plasma. All of these things basically do the same thing, they cut out metal. Uh, but there's an advantage and disadvantage to each one as well. Think of it this way, you know, if you want to cut a tomato, you can use a kitchen knife, you can use a butter knife, you can use a chef's knife, you can use, you know, a, you know, a hunting knife. They all will cut the tomato, but the difference is you get a different resolution. Uh, you know, if you use a chef knife, if you're cutting all day tomatoes, you want to use a chef knife really sharp because it's more efficient for you over a large volume. But if you're just cutting one tomato, you know, hunter's knife or, you know, anything but a butter knife would be perfect. So in this case here, the fiber laser is cutting out all the details. The water jet would be doing basically the same thing, but it has a larger diameter sort of uh, cut. Uh, I don't know how you would reference it, but you basically have a beam. Uh, so with the router, you have a very large beam because you're limited basically to a 1 8 inch bit. Uh, when it comes to a, a laser, you have a far smaller beam, whether it's CO2, which is a larger beam, or a fiber that has an even smaller beam. The water jet sort of fits somewhere in between all of these things. Now the nice thing about the fiber is that it's fast enough that there isn't too much heat build up in the stencil. I can actually pick this stencil up as soon as it's done and basically ship it out after doing a little bit of cleaning. I couldn't do that with uh, if I were to cut this with, uh, for instance, the plasma cutter, because the plasma cutter has a very large diameter and it holds, uh, the metal holds the heat during production because it is relatively slow compared to fiber. Now, before we jump into how the big one was done, I want you to notice something. You'll notice a little bit further than halfway through, uh, you'll notice the sheet actually just, you know, just sort of warps or it just changes. What happens is sometimes, it doesn't matter the material, uh, plastic, wood, whatever, sometimes when you're doing something with a CNC machine, the CNC machine is totally perfect, 100%. Uh, what happens is sometimes the stresses in the material itself get released during the cutting process. Now you get this with the water jet, you get with this la laser, you get this with the plasma, you get this with the router, it doesn't matter. And the problem this caused, here's the scrap basically, it's a really nice expensive piece of scrap, you notice that because the sheet changed a bit, you notice this is out of alignment. So when we're working with this, we're talking about fractions of a fraction of, a, of an inch. And that little movement can cause that to happen. 
So the nice thing about my company is, you know, we saw that mistake. And actually, I just happened to see it right where, where, while I was packaging it. I never noticed it before. And so just cut another one up. That actually is 100% perfect. So for this project here, we cut out the little spent stencil first. And after that, cut out the big one. It's basically the same thing. Uh, the resolution of the fiber doesn't matter if it's small or large. Uh, what you do have to watch out for is that this is a stencil. So inside parts have to be supported. And that's why sometimes you see a jump in the video or, you know, hand going over it. Uh, basically, those little pieces that are sort of the stencil scrap, uh, the inside pieces of everything. Sometimes they raise up and you can see how the head is pretty close to the surface of the 316 stainless steel. So what ha happened is that you can have a collision. Now it won't damage the machine, the machine doesn't care, it'll just keep going. What will happen though, is that it'll push and pull the sheet and that's another source of producing something that's sort of off center or inaccurate. So, you know, I, I'll show you the video of, you know, when I was showing you the large stencil and the small stencil, the large one I had to do twice because something was off. In this, that case there was probably a heat buildup and the stress in the metal that was released. There was no dragging of the plate, but the dragging of the plate would produce the same result, meaning some things are off. Now you can see in this one here, the fill date, you can actually see it's a little bit off here, but it's easy to see on the video that it's off, but it's really hard to see during production that something like that has happened. Now what happened, I don't know, you don't see any uh, movement of the sheet or nothing at all. Um, it just happens to be, you know, maybe a little bit of stress got released, you know, a fraction of an inch, and it just goes across the whole sheet. And basically when you end up there, you maybe are off maybe a 16th, a 32nd, and then it just builds up and it just produces an uneven result. Now what you do see is fire underneath. There's no actual fire being produced by the laser. It's just high energy shooting down. So you see the sparks and stuff, same thing you would see with the plasma cutter. But the difference is you don't feel the heat from this one here. It's such a focused beam compared to a plasma cutter that you don't feel the heat or the power like you would with the plasma cutting. So the nice thing about cncri.com is that we have multiple platforms to do multiple jobs. So let's say you wanted this here done uh, out of polycarbonate or you wanted it done of wood or you wanted you know any other material. We can cut it for you here and ship it right to your door. The nice thing about that aspect of it is we can also customize the, de the design on the fly. So in this case here, we have an H and a C. If you wanted a J and a Q or you wanted any other aspect of this to be done, uh, whether you want one or a thousand of them, it doesn't really matter. CNC machines never get tired, they never get bored, which is really nice. Because uh, some of the jobs we do could take uh, hours and hours and hours to do it. I don't know how a human would actually be able to do it. But the CNC is really happy to do it. And as soon as it's done, we feed it another project and it goes ahead and does it. So how do you go about getting something like this made? Well, the thing you want to do first is realize that this is a stencil. And because it's a stencil, you want the inside parts supported. And here's a really good example. You see the end, I'll put it over my white shirt here. So you'd see this here, you'd see the supports. You can see this little letter here, has a little bit of supports. So every letter has a support, yay. The R. So that's number one. So you want a stencil, you have to make sure inside parts are supported. Now the reason why we went stainless steel in this project here, we could have done it out of aluminum as well, is because we're, the customer is using a propane torch. So if you're using a propane torch, now you have to worry about melting points. Uh, the heat from the propane torch is pretty similar to that of the stainless steel. If you were on there consistently not moving it. But of course with the propane torch you're going like this. If we could have done this with aluminum, it would probably have been okay. Um, the problem is the propane torch is hotter than the aluminum, almost double the, the, the heat generated. So yes, you're going like this, maybe for one stencil you're okay, but if you're doing you know, 50 or 60 or 70, after a while that stencil starts to get hot and it starts to sort of lose its resilience. And that's why I prefer to do things overkill here in the shop for the customer so that when they get it, you know, 316 stainless steel is wicked overkill for a stencil for a bourbon uh, stencil, but it's going to last pretty much forever. So if you're looking for custom stencils, uh, just go to cncra.com, contact us there, we'll make it for you and ship it right to your door.